on 7-15-2020. Today we'll be playing some Battle Tech. This will be our eighth day on our fifth uh, career mode rollout. Uh, we'll be continuing on for the remainder of days that we have left and trying to uh, finish up the DORAV, get more of the highlight contracts done, and see where we can place. In addition, uh, our, our career six that we're planning on doing, I'm going to be doing a challenge. It's going to be in the hard setting, of course, like I've always been doing. It will be, I cannot buy anything from the store. I can only sell to the store, and that's it, if I need to. Uh, so no buying from the store, no selling from the store, no uh, allying with the pirates and getting discounts and stuff like that. Um, I can only scavenge what I have. Um, scavenge the materials that I come across and stuff. But I can uh, modify the mechs and repair them as I see fit. So it's only whatever I can get my hands on and see where I can go from there. So anyways, continuing on here, let's go ahead and start up some of our missions. Uh, we got a one-pointer here. Uh, we're going to do this for more money. Uh, we'll get more faction there. Uh, we'll go in with our usual crew. Uh, since this is such an easy mission, I think we can go with the uh, lower level guys that need uh, some work. So we'll put him there. We'll put uh, him there. Um, definitely put him there. And let's see. And him there. I'm just uh, pretty much uh, finishing everything up. Hey, uh, Mech Warrior, how's it going? I'm uh, my next uh, career mode is going to be a challenge mode. New bandages and doing well. That's good to hear. How's the uh, damage going? Is it uh, slowly receding and healing? Slowly healing, yeah. Skin takes a while to heal. Especially at that uh, deprivation level. But at least it's not sticking to the bandages, right? Okay, that's good. So you don't have... That's really good. Your skin will start healing up much, much faster um, at that point. It'll just get faster as time goes on. You probably have about another two weeks to a month. Oh, that sucks. That's really weird. Command interface. The worst you'd have to do is completely uninstall your Battletech uh, game. Uh, kill off any folders that are for Battletech and mods. And then reinstall the Battletech game. Then install the... Uh, the um, the community assist uh, thing, then install the mod. And then it should work at that point. Then install whatever mods on top of that you want to do. That I think that would work there. Good to go, Commander. Copy that. I'm there. Copy that. Yeah, might as well. Sorry that it didn't work out for you. That's really weird. Did you uh, download the community assist thing and uh, do its update process? Coordinates received. On it. Consider me there. <laughs> Not as bad as being exploded. True. True enough. Uh, no, it probably won't work because there's something conflicting. What I think you'd have to do is completely uninstall Battletech, clear out all the folders pertaining to Battletech, and then just do a refresh uh, reinstall. Then do the community assist mod and, uh, Eyes on the target. and then um, Roger. install the mod. After you get that working and it works out, then you can install whatever mods on top of that. Just be careful. Too many mods can ruin the pot. <laughs> Copy that. 
Commander. All right, I just need to get eyes on what is going over here. Ah, oh, that's bad. So. Engaging jump jet. Get the Griffin in position to do some dirt. Firing all weapons. Very nice. Critical hit, Commander. Okay. <laughs> you may have to do that anyways. Aye, aye. On the move. Okay. Firing for effect. Copy that. I know, missed. Sucked. Failed to connect. Orders? Confirmed. True, true, true. I copy. Wow. No luck. Waiting for orders. Acknowledged. True. Mod probably doesn't matter to you much. Oh, he's gonna come over and melee me? Wow, what balls. Oh? Standing by. Awaiting orders. you good to go ha! that was a heavy hit that hit something good okay then commander sounds far go come over and flatline him That. And he goes. One left target. Waiting for orders. Riflemen. Forty percent chance, but hey, better than nothing. Roger. Commander. my way. off. Wow. Keep it up. Wow, he took a lot to the back. <laughs> Standing by.
On my way. More forties. Commander. Moving to position. Not a lot of people have the Forge World minis, though. You have to understand that. It's only the people who uh, are in competitive play that want to make something of themselves usually do. And even then, they're limited to what they can field. Standing by. AC-10s, so I'm not worried about that. Firing on target. Primary target damage. All right. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. <laughs> what did you can have in your uh, Space Marine list? And how many points were you running? Okay, and how much did he have? F same amount? Let's do this. Okay, what was your force orc, first of all? Standing by. Roger that. You had 3,000 points, and you only had 1,500. He should have beaten you, silly, with that much. He probably had about the same amount as you did. Confirm. Standing by. Rolling. Ah, yeah. Th that's actually pretty dirt cheap these days. Receiving you. Locked on. Enemy vehicle destroyed. I was asking, uh, what was your Ready force forward. organization set at? Holding for the right opportunity. Commander. On it. Aye, aye. Commander. I'm there. Affirmative. Targeting for an alpha strike. Time there we to go. Out. Got him. Get to the LZ for extraction. I was wondering, um, Stormblade.
Did you have any vehicles? Uh, seriously. Out of all the stuff that they wanted, they wanted that. Ugh. Ah, oh, super heavy tank. Gotcha. Yeah. Did he have any crisis suits with fusion blasters? That's why you won. Because what I would have done was against Stormblade is take a commander with four fusion blasters and a team of three with nothing but fusion blasters and drop on second turn right next to your tank and blow it to smithereens. Nice. Come in. There's also using cyclic ion blasters uh, in mass. Uh, those can be for a unit of four crisis suits with three of those uh, can be devastating with a fusion blade uh, with a fusion uh, suit commander. Not bad for a new guy, yeah. The tank that you had really uh, <laughs> oh man, you are scaring them. <laughs> Oh, man, you're like the monster in the room. It's so funny. Which one is this one? 35 tonner? Oh, we don't have that. Can't do that one. Take it for more money. Throw him on to that. We'll throw uh, you onto the archer. We'll throw you onto the rifleman, and then you onto the griffin. <laughs> I know, I know. See, the thing of it is, is I think he uh, gave you a handicap by not running uh, Cyclic Ion Blasters or uh, Fusion Blasters. It would have made a huge difference if he had a squad of those in Crisis Suits. The fact that he ran two Storm Surges, uh, two, um, sorry, um, Riptides was a poor choice. You never run two Riptides in a 1,500 point force. Because the points that you put into those two Riptides, you could put in cut out one of them and you can put in like a whole bunch more of stuff that could be very useful well he didn't he I, as a Tau player and knowing my stuff two Riptides plus a bunch of suits and very few infantry he let you off he, he basically gave, handicapped himself because in a 1500 point force it's either a Riptide or or a storm surge that you run. Most people would run the storm surge, which would have been equal to your uh, tank on the field. It would have been an equalizer. It would have been who could destroy uh, who's super heavy first. But I don't think he had a storm surge. If you don't have a storm surge, you, you at least have one riptide and you throw in some uh, crisis suits that can deal with heavy vehicles. And there you go. Or, and a commander who can do it. Commander, this region is where we ask patrol with part of the net. Our employers need us to keep an eye out for the propaganda agent, as uh, this is one of the possible escape routes she might take. If she's in the region, we need her to find her and take her out. Then we can eat back. I see a lot of green out of my cockpit. On it. Confirm. I think he went a little easy on you on the way. to get you interested in the game. To be really honest with you, it's as a 
gamer of 40k, it's best not to hard crush a uh, new player. It's best to ease them into the game by letting them have a good number of wins in the beginning and then start to get a little rougher on them. Yeah, but again, he doesn't want to discourage a new player. That's the whole thing. In 40k, you can get discouraged real easily. Yes, Commander. They all say. I'm not a pushover in 40k. If that's what you're saying. What's up, boss? Copy that. I've done in my impossible fights. I'm receiving you. You've got it, Commander. Nice. I'm here. Copy that. Ah, gotcha. Dervish is so, so messed up. can be a lot of fun for you. The best part of 40k is the painting. Have the time and patience for something like that. It's a lot of fun. Receiving you. Move auto received. Ah! Timber. Critical hit commander. <laughs> So screwed. These boots. 
Bullets are made for walking all over you. <laughs> Do I take the large laser off? Good to go. Count. We got a straight shot. Let's go ahead and amp our ability a bit. Here comes the show. Think I hit something good. Standing by. Yeah, this is a kind of an easy mission. I'm only doing it for the cash, primarily. On my way. Yeah, I, that, I do remember that. They're quite an interesting group. Moving on. On my way. They're kind of an interesting group. I've only read bits and pieces about it. But they do come from all their chapters, the best of the best from other chapters. To form uh to form everything up. <laughs> Need something, Chief? Copy that. Set up my firing position. I live to serve. Same with him. Roger that. All right, next turn I bring down the rain on this guy. Let's see, he's a Wolverine. He's out in the open with only two chevrons. That's terrible. All right, we're gonna use scythe. We're gonna go in. We're gonna actually punch him because I'll do a melee and then I'll do a. Oh wow! Three incapacitated. That guy was triple dead, and and a headshot to boot. Holy cow! That was unexpected here's a triple headshot I shot you in the head twice with lasers and I punched you in the head with lasers <laughs> punched you in the head killed you and then double killed you afterwards be quite interested to see how undefeated you go in 40k <laughs> Maybe you should give uh, that experienced Tau Commander my Farsight list. He'd probably shit his pants if he saw it. <laughs> it, I'm pretty sure you'll make, make a name for yourself. That is true. The 10 million fleet commander. <laughs> You're probably like one of the only 10% Battletech players that can field 10 million fleet or more. <laughs> Commander, planetary government has arranged for a hall of its celebrity to visit Terra Nova. Helps rallying morale for local citizens. This is an opportunity for pirates, psyops, instead, to make them understand how dangerous the region really is. 
Deploy your lance. Find the target. Eliminate them. Destroy the bodyguards if you feel so inclined. Alright, take it for more cash. Oh wait, I got people that need to rest up. Elements of Merrick Militia have raided Learn Commonwealth world of uh, Apollo Subal, but were ultimately repelled by the Halston's Brigade Mercenary Company. Two uh, battalions of mercenary forces discovered and destroyed the Union class dropship. The Merrick forces aim on Provo was unclear. The Lion Commonwealth spokesperson has condemned the action and praised the mercenary defenders for upholding the terms of their contract, while Free Worlds League officials refused to comment. In a less militant news, uh, S.L. Lewis Incorporated, the company behind Institute's Savannah Master Hovercraft, has turned its attention to more peaceful pursuits and has introduced the Lewis uh, Skimmer Bus. This 80-ton civilian hover transport can carry 18 tons of cargo, in addition to 86 passengers at a speedy 97.2 uh, kp kph. Powered by the hydrogen fuel cell system, the Skimmer Bus has a uh, declared range of 125 kilometers. S.L. Lewis has stated uh, that this is a comfortable and inexpensive alternative to air travel. Production license has been issued across the interstate, so expect to see many travel agencies adding this option to their travel packages. Double sound? Weird. Hmm, that's really weird. I'll replug my uh, headset just in case. Alright, how's this? Did that fix it? Oh, weird. It might just be the browser. Just uh, close it out and restart it. Take off your shoes. Make yourself comfortable. Okay, cool. This is our last mission on this rock, and then we'll move on. I was thinking of uh, doing a uh, Battletech challenge for my next uh, Battletech sh uh, showing for the next career mode. I was thinking of um, can only use what I scavenge, cannot buy anything from any of the stores, Do everything I can to piss off the pirates. And uh, hit as many worlds as possible. What do you think? Anything else? All in hard mode, by the way. So no changes from what I normally do in the hard mode settings. No, I won't go for... It doesn't matter if it's a rare piece or not. I'll uh, conform to the rules way. that I have set. I'm walking Any here. other rules we should add to that?
Piss off the Kaplans? Okay, will do. On my way. I always piss the Kaplans off. The they're they're the best. They're the best to piss off. Copy that. Affirmative. I'm going. <laughs> piss off Karina too. Can't really piss them off because you have uh, the uh, Dorab mission and all that. You got a, a, a pretty good Karina stuff Moving going on. Position. So that's going to be a little hard to do. But it is possible. See, uh, the most of the missions favor Karina, Davian, and uh, Merrick for the flashpoints. If you pay close attention. Standing by. Okay, we're gonna hold position. Waiting for the shot. Reserving action. Okay, I have to move. Commander. Commander. I'm gonna go in. I might as well start shooting. Move order received. Oh, it's a Phoenix Hawk. Serious. Not even worth it. I'll wait. Standing by. Oh, he's gonna do nothing until I tag him. Full throttle. Might as well just run up there. Good to go. Copy that. Standing by. All right, we're good to go. Inflicted some heavy damage. I haven't cooked anything for dinner, but I uh, plan on having some uh, hamburger helper Rolling. with uh, some rice roni. The San Francisco treat. Cry havoc. Solid connection on that one. Awaiting orders. On my way. Basically what happens is every night I do my stream, then I uh, pretty much cook after my stream. Shot. Reporting critical hit. Ooh. Now you're teasing me. The target is retreating, Commander. Eliminate it before it escapes. I copy. go. 
Kratos. Well, that rough. hit something good. Yes, it will. All right, man. Standing by. Position confirmed. I like how he's positioned right up there on top of that hill. Such delicious easiness. Firing the full combo. All right, got him. Welcome back to Land Down Under. Aye, aye. Affirmative. It's Archer, first blood. <laughs> kind of a, a tag on Rambo, first blood. I'm receiving you. An urban mech? Wow! They dare use an urban mech? <laughs> Barely hit, Commander. They're bringing Oscar the Grouch to the fight. Oh, that was actually a pretty good move. Firm. It's a heavy. We have to shoot it. I don't know who to melee. Yes, Commander. Receiving you. More to shoot. Jeez. This is so sad. All right, let's uh, hit the stinger first. Blackjack. A BJ1. Oh, wow, that's actually did a good amount. Took a hard hit there. Orders. Jumping. Yeah, we're gonna hold. I will be done. Archangel, we're definitely gonna focus on the blackjack for right now. Going up and see. Standing by. Go ahead and walk over here and punch the living daylights out of this javelin. Affirmative. Let's see how you like this. Back, huh? Expected. I'm getting confused. Commander? Maybe. Waiting for orders. Engaging jump jet. As much as I want to shoot that Irby in the back, uh, the blackjack one. The blowjob one, I mean blackjack one. He needs to die first. Giving him every like, no! I gotta keep shooting the archer. My life depends on it. Nah. I live to serve. Waiting for orders. 
Copy that. Commander? Yes, Commander. Order confirmed. Ugh. Just walking through all the lights and just punching. Target neutralized. <laughs> nope, not yet. <laughs> Damage minimal. That's the most try-hard blackjack I've ever seen. Awaiting orders. Let's do this. All right, let's uh, put the lasers here and the new axe over there. Confirm. I'm here. Let's put laser here and the missiles here. Splitting fire. Got him. That's a kill. Nah, I call the I do call the blackjack the blowjob. Because it's, it's, it's such a blow of a mech. <laughs> it blows so much. Here we go. Bunch of time. Ooh. Down he goes. And lasers to boot. That's a kill. What will the Irby do? Will he continue his vengeance fight against my archer? Yes, he will. I can't take much more of this. Standing by. Why don't you go up there and show the Herbie what the power is? Dang, kicked off his laser. Receiving you. On my way. That could have worked too. Waiting for orders. Yes, come on. Actually, we'll use the uh, Archangel to knock him flat on his butt. Enemy down. The Moon 40, not too bad. Thank you very much, and how have you been? Good to see you again. Mission successful. Just having some fun doing some battle tech missions. Just making some money. Killing some joy in the process. <laughs> Get it, kill joy. All right, let's see. Alrighty then, that's it for this section of the uh, area. It's kind of funny, I'm running around with uh, three archers in uh, one group.
Well, good luck on that, and I do hope you do finish up high school. You're going to need that GED. Without it, you can't even uh, do anything. <laughs> there's hard, there's only, like, what jobs are there for uh, doing without a GED? Washing dishes, shoveling shit at the zoo, and um, flipping burgers without a GED. Everywhere else, you need a GED or higher. So, it's very important to get it, and I do hope you get it. Hey, Commander. Pull up a chair. Commander on deck. Let's see where we're going to go to. It's a 1.2 system. Do you have any flashpoints in the area? can't do that one yet. We're not strong enough. So all the good ones are up in here. Dang. So we'll start making our way that way. So we'll head to this world, clear it out. We'll just go world to world and start clearing out stuff. Have I visited this one? No. Actually, let's just go to worlds where we can actually make a profit on. About a three. Would there be anything for us to do here in this space? That's a good question. Oh, plus it's a moon world. No, thank you. Find a three world. I have um, thirty twenty five extended commanders edition installed right now. Wow. Now well, let's go over there and try. Calculating course now, commander. That's all that I have installed is uh, Commander's Edition, Extended Commander's Edition 3025. That's uh, what's in the title of the uh, Battletech. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. So this is what I'm packing for uh, my uh, Elite Alliance. Uh, I've been so lucky to get three archers as the only heavies I could find right now. And... Uh, a griffin and a rifleman. So I converted uh, two of uh, the archers into brawlers. Yeah, brawlers. And the funny part, they do actually work. Gave them SRMs, lasers. This is the LRM variant. Gave them lasers, SRMs, uh, small lasers, and uh, damage hand mods. So that way, if I melee with them, they do more damage. It's been working out pretty uh, efficiently, which is actually really hilarious in a lot of ways. Ooh. Darius calls you to the bridge. My contacts came through, Sergei. I've got a lead on the DORAV. A grainy image fills the view screen. What you're looking at is Burnham Group's distribution center on independence. Every scrap of exotic contraband that's been uh, turning up in the black market has gone through this site. Summary nods thoughtfully. Sounds good, XO. I'll mark it on the star map. When we're ready to check it out, let me know. Uh, one thing, Commander. Darius puts the dossier on the view screen. For 50,000 sea bills, I can arrange for a portion of Rome's security team to call in sick on the day we are of our arrival. Uh, could uh, save us trouble when following up on this. Let's go ahead and authorize that bribe. Darius dips his head in agreement. You got it, Sergei. Uh, we'll make the arrangements. Yang uh, gives you a sidelong glance. Uh, your XO turns to go. And I'll go prepare our salvage team. This is going to be the way I hope it will. We stand to gain some pretty impressive hardware. Exotic weapons, strange new mechs. Things I have never, ne haven't never, even imagined yet. And acknowledge uh, Yang, uh, Farah adds, 
and eyes glistening with excitement, knowledge and adventure, and the promise of more to come. So we got the flashpoint up. Nice. We'll go ahead and stop. And we'll go to independence directly. Yeah. By your command. Okay, we're just gonna do a 180, and uh, we're just gonna do a uh, a 180 in mid space, and uh, can travel the other direction. <laughs> Yeah, any mech can be actually converted into a brawler. It's just how you use it, or even ranged. But some are better at it than others. I've actually found that uh, the Panther, being a sniper and a support role for you, that it's ten intended for, actually is a much better brawler than um, some of the brawlers at its tonnage, because it holds a lot more laser firepower get four lasers to five and an SRM to pack. That's really nasty. And it goes at a decent click. It's not as fast as the other brawlers, but it still does the job. It's a really good damage uh, ranged brawler. Medium range brawler. Hands down. All right. What's even more surprising is getting the uh, um, bull shark variant off the uh, auction house and uh, off one of the houses, you know, stores, and loading up with two Ultra AC-20s and all the SRMs you can hand handle, throw on uh, two uh, uh, plus 30 heat sinks, uh, heat tank things with a uh, weapon cool mod plus all the ammo you need and uh, heat suppression with a high level pilot that thing will do hey, boss, like we've just completed those upgrades. what was it over 800 damage over 740 damage with all the best stuff you can throw onto it <laughs> oh I have a lot of fun stuff after hearing that Time Lord was involved in, the, in an accident you stop by Med Bay and visit the Mech Warriors and covers hi commander Time Lord uh, 88 touches the bandage on the head I was doing pull-ups on the shelf when it came loose. The shelf above it came down, too, right on my head. You shake your head, frowning. You know those shelves aren't rated for your weight. Time Lord laughs. I wish I had a better option, Commander. There's not enough room to roam right now. I'll task him with the uh, exercise room. Time Lord, consider your suggestion. Back to service. Uh, we'll use our run five clicks every morning before breakfast. You can see the wheel starting to spin. Why don't we, uh, we don't have much uh, space in here. Whatever we do, we're bound to get in somebody's way. Maybe uh, some simple body weight exercises you think uh, can come up with something? He looks at you hopefully, the commander, uh, then, hey commander, when this ship is new, there was a gym and beta pod, right? You nod. Your uh, interest is noted, Time Lord. He suffers one injury, but morale's increased by one. Oh, oh yeah, that reminds me, I can now do more engineering stuff. Yay. Sure thing. It'll Upgrade the lounge. Bit, but we'll get it done. This is why I can't have nice things. <laughs> uh, I know the feeling. Hunting season, orbit of independence. Okay, people. Bremen's Group's Distribution Center is smack dab in the center of an uninhabited jungle in Independence, equal to Greenbelt. We're going to fight our way to the Distribution Center, find out where they've taken the Dorav, and liberate as much co exotic contraband as Leopard can carry. It can't be that easy. It's never that easy. It won't be. Bremen's Group is practically well armed cavalry lance patrolling just outside the projected AO. If we attack the district center before we deal with them, they'll have plenty of time to circle around and outflank us. Sounds like a situation we need to avoid. Good luck. You you might have to uninstall Battletech and uh, clean out the directory 
and then reinstall it fresh at worst and then install that mod first before you install any others it is and that's why we're gonna play this one safe rather than mounting a direct assault on the faculty I'm setting our mech warriors down on the outer edge of the burn group's territory if the intel that Darius contacts gave us checks out we'll catch the op force cavalry lance with their pants down and if that doesn't check out it'll tell us something too works for me Dr. Murad you've uh, brought mama bear back online yet two steps ahead of you commander I'll put it on the view screen when you uh, okay commander Venko I've been informed of your impending combat drop when you've taken the Burnham Group Center, please send word to Engineering Dr. Murad, and I'll stand by ready to analyze any and all data that you recover. Alternatively, could you, I don't know, maybe help us out? I mean, we didn't haul your combat drones all the way out here for nothing. If your lance requires assistance, I will, of course, provide it. A word of caution, however, my combat drones are limited resources. When they are damaged or destroyed, I have no way of replacing them. Nobody aboard the ship it has specialized knowledge required to repair SLDF combat drone, including me. Those functions were governed by dedicated systems aboard my orbital platform. And you're not in your orbital platform anymore. Wonderful. Mom Bear is right, Meyer. We should keep the drones in reserve until we actually, until we actually find the DORAV. I get a feeling we're going to need them. Agreed. And besides, 50 grand that we blew on the bribes would make this uh, deployment a cakewalk. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Let's get down there, uh, Sergei. The sooner we engage the enemy, the more time we'll have to hit the distribution center. All right, here we go. The hunt for Dorav. Uh, let's see. We're going to take out the riflemen and throw in our next brawler archer. Yes, you heard me. Brawler archer. <laughs> We're going to take a team in first. Long load. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, there we go. Some of these missions take a little bit to load. There we go. Command interface initiated. According to Randell, the Burnham Group's cavalry lance should be patrolling through this AO. Get in there, hit them hard, and wipe them out. When the cavalry lance is on ice, you'll be able to advance on Burnham's distribution center. Better move fast. I just intercepted a communication aid to Northland Burnham's jump ship. Apparently, the distribution center is under attack. Yeah, it's confirmed. I'm picking up signs of explosions and laser fire. So much for a cautious approach. Can you get us over there now, Mayor? Can't risk it. The AO is too hot. You're going to have to deal with the problem before moving on to the next. With luck, the op four hired guns or whoever these new assholes are will soften one another up before we get there. Ready for action. On my way. Yes, I'm there. Uh oh. Welcome back, man. Sorry your internet died there for a sec. Commander, I'm getting an incoming transmission from an unknown dropship. It isn't one of Brenham Group's, so I'm gonna. So, so it must belong to whoever is hitting the distribution center. Oh, shit. Who is it, Meyer? It's the bounty hunter. As in, the bounty hunter. The one with the Holovid show, the action figures, the quadruple digit kill count. I'm putting him through. Commander, avoiding kill of Sly's mar marauders. We've never spoken before, but I trust that you know who you're talking to. We know who you are, Bounty Hunter. I doubt any mech warrior alive who doesn't. If you don't mind my asking, what the hell are you doing here? Same thing you are, only faster and better. My crew is packing up Burnham's group's inventory as we speak. Thanks for the heads up, I guess. I was more of a friendly warning. You're going to want to stay away from the distribution center until we're finished cleaning it out. Matter of fact, it'd work best for me if you just withdraw from the combat right now. I'll give you a few minutes to decide. He's off the line. We just got threatened by a celebrity. <laughs> the man's a living legend, and for God's sake, so are we withdrawing? If we turn tail and run, the bounty hunter will probably shoot us in the ass on our way out the door. The man has a reputation. Even if he doesn't, the hit to our reputation would be enormous. Imagine us running away on the highlight reel of the next season's Bounty Hunters. You think anyone would want to hire us after that? On the other hand, if we fight him and win, we'll be famous. We could jack up our rates. Hell with it. We're pushing for it. If the Bounty Hunter wants a piece of us, we'll give it to him. Let's see how good this guy really is. Like playing the reserve game right at the start. Holding action, Commander. All right, so What's you up, have huh? target lock. So move you up and forward. Up to here. No sweat. Make it harder for them to lock on to me and sensor lock. Sensors locked on. Uh oh, not ah, another storm. Send me a real opponent. <laughs> yes, boss. All right. On my way. What we'll do is we'll split fire here. Because we do that best. Confirm. Nice damage there. Oh, swing and a miss. Yeah, they are some final words. Ooh, that's some good shooting there. Need something, Chief? Run 
Roger. I just like plugging holes in tanks first. Hate tanks. as possible. Still out there, avoid go? That's a shame. I was hoping you listened to basic instructions. Yeah, I bet you were. Sorry to disappoint. Heh. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry too. I was hoping I wouldn't have to order my associates to reduce you to your component materials, but unfortunately, you've taken that decision out of my hands. God's commander, we got company. If, by some miracle, you manage to survive what's coming, feel free to drop me a line. Otherwise, goodbye, commander. Do a better job at picking your battles in the next life. Try to play that out as a smug asshole. <laughs> know what I mean? All right, let's see. Walk up. Make sure he has vigilance. And we'll start unloading in this tank. Get it out of the way. It's gone. They love to shoot each other, though. Waiting on you, Commander. We'll go ahead and uh, reserve. Standing by. Hmm. All right, let's have Hound go in for the. Ch let's have Levis go in for the chase. Time to fly! Get him on the side. Take this. Nice. Soften him up a bit. Yes, Commander. Have Hound come up on the Roger. side as well. Locked on target. That actually might destroy that arm. Oh, he lucky. Take care, Mech Warrior. Have a good night. And take care of those bandages. And oh, I hope you heal up fast, too. Alright, we're going to hold off. I want to finish this guy off before we move on. Receiving you. Very nice. 
progress. That hit something. All right, good. Now we'll go waddling into that fight. Let's see what we got. I hear ya. We'll go ahead and just brace right there for now. Resting my mech. We'll go ahead and reserve him. Standing by. She will reserve. on this locust. The reason why is I don't want it to run up to one of my mechs and just basically take off the defensive abilities or shoot in the back easily. Here you go. Now that hit something good. Commander. Affirmative. Taking too many hits, it'll run. Go ahead and reserve. Oh, nice.
there helping me out. Kind of funny. Oh, he's gonna punch. Oh, there goes the defense. Warning. Armor low. How's it going? Let's go over there and punch you again. On the move. <sighs> How's that feel? <laughs> Why is it getting jacked up? Oh, it's become a brawl. <laughs> it's become a three-way brawl. Warning. Armor low. What can I do for you? out a bit. We'll put up Vigilance because our armor's low. Hit him with everything we got. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Relentless. Waiting on you, Commander. You're gonna be best at shooting him in the Move back. Should make him want to leave the area. Ow, that hurt. That shot went internal. Seriously. Back up through my armor, Commander. Ready. Back up on this one. I copy. On it. Scored a critical hit. me quite a bit. this one getting behind me. Waiting for orders. Tell 
Time to fly. Deal with what's behind me. Roger that. There we go. That's a kill. Standing by. On the move. There we go. Took out his evasive so he can only walk. Trying hard to damage his right side. Reporting heavy damage. Standing by. Go ahead and vigilance him. Heading out. I'm not worried about him. I want to blow this guy to smithereens. Yep. Yeah. Oh, another headshot with a punch. Gotcha. Dang, that's brutal. Ah, crap, he got behind me. Might do something. Critical hit. Critical hit. All right. It's getting very annoying. best part How's is he's in a position where they can't uh, come up and charge them. didn't pull anything off. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to hit him. Bear 
Australia hit, Commander. Let's do this. Heading out. Mommy, is that you? <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Charge! Engaging physical attack. Waiting for orders. Roger that. Waiting for orders. You would think that he would probably want to check right now. Now there goes his chance at retaliating. Commander. God, so much melee in this one. They're great. <laughs> I'll come save you, boy. Yes, Commander. Come over there and give my 45 point damage to his face. But I didn't count on that artillery. <laughs> oh, you want to play? Here. I'll fist you right back. <laughs> oh my god, another head hit. What the hell? That's two head hits in one round. From melee. That's ridiculously silly. Gods be praised. Bang knuckles with the bounty hunter isn't the uh, idea of a good time. I heard you just handed my friends a regular ass kicking. Suppose I should thank you for that. Give me something uh, new to rib on them about at our celebration party. From where I'm standing, you don't have a whole lot to celebrate. The, f the hold full of contraband we just sa lifted says otherwise. I'll be happy to chat about it after we're back in orbit. Drop me a line, wouldn't go. I'll be waiting. Mission successful. <laughs> that was an interesting battle. The fact that I got two headshots in melee was just great. Took some damage on three mechs. Not bad. They did a good job on me, though. That is for sure. Oops. Wow, I can get myself Phoenix Hawk easily or Locust. I'll take the crab. So I don't have that. I'll grab a Phoenix Hawk part. Mm, don't have that. And then take a couple green pieces. Oh, we got all the mech parts. All the mech parts. That's actually pretty good. Can't complain on that at all. Got the Vulcan 2T, the Phoenix for. Hawk 1, and the Crab 20. And a Locust. Wow! Send that to storage, send that to storage. And do I want to keep the Crab T? Yeah, I do. Very nice uh, 50 tonner. No, we don't need them. I 
I gotta admit, Winko, I underestimated you badly. Woldenko, sorry. Uh, if we were ever in conflict with one another again, I won't send my second stringers to chew on. I'm gonna come for you myself. What happened down there was just business, Bounty Hunter. There's no reason for any animosity between our companies. I'm glad you see it that way. Matter of fact, I've got a drop shuttle on the way to your location right now. I realize your company got the short end of the stick in this situation, so I've got a little peace offering for you. Sort of a colonization prize for the losing side. Uh, what is it? Some wreckage my crew pulled from the distribution center site scrap heap. Bits and pieces, nothing major. They tell me they've never seen anything like them before. I figured your pal veteran may want to look over what we found. It'll keep him occupied for a while, at the very least. How uncharacteristically generous of you. Is it just me, or does this strike anyone else as really, really suspicious? Like, there must be a catch here, level suspicious? There's no catch. It's a jumble of scrap, too damaged to resell. Besides, I don't want to have to. I don't have the space for it. My crew has already scooped up much of the exotic contraband as drop should carry. Look, do you want this crap or not? I'd rather see go to a worthy mech warrior than stay in the hands of some ivory shit heel. But if you're feeling antsy, I guess I could have my people just toss it in the ditch. We'll take it. Good. I want us to part ways in decent terms. Never know when you're going to get paired up with on the future gig. Catch you further down the line, Commander. It's a small galaxy, after all. What an asshole. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He gave us a crate of junk as a parting gift, but every damn word that came out of his mouth sounded like a veiled threat. That junk came from the Dorav. That means it's a potential lead. The Commander's right. There could be clues in the crate. Evidence that lead us to whether Nokrumbrookum took the Dorav. I shouldn't have to remind you how important it is we find that ship. You don't have to, uh, Doc. Look, I'm suspicious of the bounty hunter's motives, but that doesn't mean I'm not excited. The scrap came from the Dorav, a ship we've already established to be full of sunshine and unicorns. Hell, I'm surprised that the mech techs weren't uh, sifting through it already. Whatever answers are in that crate, you'll get them, and I'll bring them to you as soon as I can. Just try not to get your hopes up, okay? Don't worry about us. Just focus on the task at hand. None of us are likely to forget what the bounty hunter is a nightmare of a person. While we're waiting for our chief's report, we should probably uh, complete a few contracts to keep the cash flow moving in the right direction. We'll reconvene when we got some news about our crate. Whatever news that may be. Let's see what we got. What's the rare item? Ah, we didn't get the mech. I was hoping we'd actually get the mech. So, just a bunch of weapons. Not bad. Still not bad, but still. Kind of a little disappointed there. Alright, so that being said, let's take a look at the command center. Uh, we got some missions we can do here. They're very easy. Take a look at our pilots. Waiting for orders. Receiving you. Standing by. Let's do this. Commander? Good to go. Standing by. Waiting for orders. Alright, so then we go to McBay. Check them. There's one that has more damage than the others. Okay, that was the one. Right. Thought there was a damaged uh, heat seek or something. I can do missions here, or I can take the time All and travel. Normal activity. Hmm. 
can't can't unfortunately do that. Actually, got to go out of the area. Okay, we'll just head here. By your command. Want to make sure that I can actually get some good stuff off these guys. Got time for my mechs to repair, people to get back up. Upgrades you asked for are online, Commander. Alright guys, it looks like that I do have to uh, end the stream a little early tonight. Uh, something came up. So, we're going to get to our position and then we'll talk about what's going on for the next couple days. Uh, just to let everybody know that we do have a new stream schedule. Waypoint if you are not aware of it, please come to my twitch.tv slash silvtalon. Uh, if you are currently watching the video, just scroll down and you'll see the stream times right there. And what I'm streaming over the weeks. Next, uh, if you are not uh, watching this normally and just as a replay, just go to the chat button. Then look down and you'll see uh, uh, the stream time down there as well. Uh, tomorrow evening is going to be Mech Warrior 5 starting at 7 o'clock. It'll go to 10. Friday will be MWO Online. So it's Mech Warrior Online for Friday night starting at 7. We may actually go later into the evening depending on how I'm feeling. Uh, but uh, usually we'll end our Monday through Friday streams around 10 o'clock. Um, Saturday we will have EverQuest in the morning at 12 uh, to 3. And then we'll pick up uh, with MWO Online. Uh, from 7 to late at night, meaning we'll go till around 2 in the morning, uh, potentially. And then Sunday, uh, we have EverQuest again, 
at 12 to 3, and then uh, MWO for the next uh, 3 to 4 hours. So hopefully you'll be there for any of those streams. I thank you for watching. Please uh, enjoy the other streams that I may have up and available to your leisure, and uh, continue watching. I thank all of you for your time, your patience, and for your views. It's been awesome having you as viewers. Have a good night. Be safe. Be well.